Hi guys, I'm Lori. I'm David. And this is Mermaid and Jedi Adventures. Today at Mermaid and Jedi Adventures, we're going to be talking about Planning, fast pass tips. We haven't quite decided what the title yeah, of this video is going to um, be. You're trying to get the most out of your trip. Uh, Bang for your buck. By planning. Uh, Lori is very big on planning. Um, yes. We, we've asked, like, hey, we'll have a trip planned for November, all set up. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the kind of. How a little bit of planning can go a long way in terms of enjoying your vacation, basically. Yeah. So, fast passes, we had mentioned. Let's talk about fast passes. Um, actually, no, that's not a good order of things. Yeah, so and I yeah. like my order. Yeah, so, um, crowd, con crowd control calendars. <laughs> yeah, so um, what we'll, Lori will do is look at the crowd, crowd control calendars and which ones do you normally like to click on? So our, my top two are Touring Plans and Kenny the Pirate. Um, both are great. Basically what a crowd calendar is is you look for a certain time frame and based on previous years they can kind of project what the crowds will be like. So it gives you sort of a red which is like super busy, avoid danger, danger. Uh, yellow, which is mm, busy but okay, and then green, um, which is, and I think sometimes blue for touring plans, but green or blue um, indicates like light crowds, so the least busy. So based on that, I make a schedule of, uh, we pick the least busy parks for the week and kind of go from there. And yeah, and then what you also do is uh, rate in when the extra magic hours are for each park. And, yes. Uh, so like, uh, you know, if it's a yellow day or a red day, it's like, well, we have extra magic hours if yeah. we're on property, so... We may be able to fit it in and get the stuff done before it gets too busy. Yeah. So uh, that's a good thing to plan for because you want to basically plan your day out, out so you know which park you're going to because that will help with the fast passes. If it's a busier day and there's extra magic hours and you're not staying on property, uh, those are the days where we try to avoid those those yeah. uh, cer certain parks, especially if it's early morning magic hours a lot of times because not only will it be a bit of a busier day, but the people who are staying on property are already in those the park an hour or two before you are, um, so the capacity will be larger for those rides. So, okay. and then fast passes. Yeah, so that's what, like um, the reason why we plan on our days like this is so we can actually pick our fast passes for, for the day we time. want. Yeah. yeah. And what we normally do is we we'll look at a park. Okay, we're going to this park. What rides do we want to go on? Yeah. And we we'll look for rides that we both want to go on mm -hmm. because. It feels like a waste of a fast pass to, to go out on a fast pass for only one person. Yeah, unless there's two distinct things that you want to do. If you want to go on, he wants to go on this ride, and I want to go on this ride. Eh, I mean, I don't know when that would happen. Maybe occasionally yeah. that might happen, but we like to go on things together a lot of times. And if we are together, we don't like to want to waste a fast pass. So yeah, like a, a good example would be uh, Space Mountain. Mm -hmm. um, Lori cannot handle Space Mountain. Yeah. Uh, I tried to get her on it and like uh, her back was hurting and I was like, yeah, I freaking out. Like, I was at the ba very back too. I was in a really bad spot. Yeah. I was at the back. Space Mountain and Walt Disney World is way rougher than Space Mountain and Disneyland. The buggy, I didn't have my thing tight enough. On, oh, it was bad yeah. news. It was, so, it was dinosaur all over again. Yeah, it was basically, <laughs> but it I, I, fell I, the ride. I could not enjoy the ride because I was like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, well, back. No, I right. mean it wasn't the most pleasant thing, but the hilarious part was David's commentary because it, it well I was in the middle. I think I've told the story before, but I was in the middle. A lady that I older lady that I didn't know, and David was behind me. So every turn and bump or whatever, I was just sort of bracing myself. And the lady in front of me was going, "Oh Lordy, oh gosh, Jesus!" and just making these comments. And then David, every bump is going, "Sorry, sorry, hun. Oh no, are you okay? Sorry, hun." The whole way through, which kind of was kind of funny. I mean, I, at the end of the day, I was okay, um, but I was a little sore, a little jolted yeah. around. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. Yeah, and so the other part of this fast pass is what we try to do is yeah. group them together, like yes. um, in the same areas of the park. Yeah. yeah. I guess, or like around the same time kind of saying like, well, like, uh, a good thing we normally do is we'll book uh, Big Sitter Mountain and Splash Mountain right after it kind of saying, mm -hmm. or the other way around, and like, they're kind of close together so we can get to them. So. So we, excuse me, well, uh, another way that kind of has to do with fast passes as well, which is sort of a separate tip, kind of, standalone tip, is um, when they say get there for rope drop to get the most bang for your buck, get there for rope drop. Mm -hmm. If you are there, like, as in you were parking your car in the parking lot half an hour, 45 minutes before the park actually opens, because they usually will let you in early. 
um, but that is the best way to get onto rides. A lot of times you'll get into a main sort of like holding area, like a hub, and then when the whatever time it is, they like release everybody and they separate to things. But what we've done is, let's say Magic Kingdom opens at 8 o'clock, we make sure that we're there for 7.30, take the little boat across, we're there at least by quarter two, see the little show, and then the first couple, like hour and a half to two hours, it is not busy at all. We can get on things instantly or a five minute wait, a ten minute wait. A lot of times, if, like we go to Tomorrowland, David will get on Space Mountain once or twice while I'm riding the, you know, the TTC, um, the people mover, and then we'll go to... Buzz. Yeah, we'll go to Buzz Light, what, your danger spin. Go on that once or twice, go to Ariel, and it's not till we get all the way to like Haunted Mansion that it's starting to get a little busy usually. Yeah. And then we plan our fast passes for like further away, like Big Thunder Mountain, um, Pirates and Splash or something yeah. like that. So, and when we do that, we book it for let's say like 10 o'clock in the morning, 11 o'clock in the morning, and 12 o'clock. Uh, so that way, uh, we've had a few pa rides without our fast passes. We've used our fast passes, and now we have the opportunity to get more if we want. Um, so you can get one more uh, fast pass after your third, and then once that's your once you swipe your band, you can get the next one and the next one one at a time. So we've got like six, seven yeah. fast passes before in a day, which is great. Yeah, and a lot of times there'll be we always book a fast pass for something like haunted mansion or pirates or yes. Something that you know that we want to get on, and yes. a lot of times if we could get on it without so the fast pass, we awesome. switch, 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 switch them out. Like uh, I'll say a few times, Lori's been waiting in line on the app, kind of saying like, "Okay, let's switch it to something else," kind of thing, because you don't want to yeah. uh, waste a fast pass. Cause that means that's kind of like a ride you're not getting on. So yeah. So when we book our fast passes, we look at things that are classically very busy rides. So things that are things that have a large capacity like a show or uh, an attraction that has a like a moving sort of conveyor belt system like uh, Little Mermaid, uh, People Mover, uh, Nemo and Friends, something like that. It, Haunted Mansion even most times. It goes quite quickly because it's, it's continuously moving so um, occasionally we'll book maybe one of those if we want but um, we save our fast passes for things like the, the roller coaster or the the big mountains, stuff like that, uh, type rides, um, av the, what is it, Avatar, Pandora, um, like the sp uh, new Toy Story Land, the bigger attractions. Yeah, we uh, always book a fast pass for uh, Peter Pan's Flight yes. because um, it's a ride we enjoy, but it's not a ride we're going to enjoy waiting in line for an hour and a half. And you will be waiting an hour and a half or two hours for a two minute and 20 second ride. And I mean, it is classic, it is great, it's a really cool ride. But it's two minutes long. That's like my problem with Seven uh, Dwarfs Mine Train. Um, it's a really cool ride, but it's like about two or three, two or three minutes long. And some the lineups for that can be like hours at a time. So um, use your fast passes wisely. Yeah, so we do. We always kind of pick. You know, there's our fast passes really kind of like. Well, we have to do this. We haven't done this yet, or um, we have to get on this. We have to do this kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, another good thing we basically do with them is. While we're at the parks, is we just, just check the apps for the wait time kind of thing, and like in between waiting for fast passes, people go, oh, this one's only five minutes, and we're nearby it. So yeah. Another thing for pre-planning, um, just to talk about meals for a second, um, and this is totally dependent on what you're going to Disney for. A lot of people like to go for the food and have lots of different meals. We tend to plan one bigger meal at some point, maybe with a reservation or something each day. And then, excuse me, and then we snack or have uh, quick service options. And the reason why that is not only because we're, we don't, you know, not necessarily are, are super hungry, but if you have like three sit down meals, that's really going to cut into your time. Yeah. Um, so we always feel like we're, we have a like fear of missing out sometimes. So we have one sort of major meal and then we do quick service or snacks just to sort of get to the Yeah, a lot of times, uh, like in the planning, we're uh, which park we're at. We'll go. Okay, we're gonna eat at this. Yeah. We're gonna uh, maybe at this restaurant or this area kind of thing, because that's where our fast passes are. Pecos Bill. Yeah, it's always the Pecos it's Bill. Always Pecos Bill. Whenever we're in, in uh, uh, Magic Kingdom, it's like, oh, yeah. we're gonna be probably around Pirates at this point, so we're gonna go to Pecos Bills. Yeah. Because you know, uh, uh, well, we've said before you could get a, me a meal for one person for two people. So. Yeah. Exactly. So those are just a couple little random tips we thought we would throw in today. Yeah. Uh, just kind of little planning can make your life a little bit easier at the parks. 
Um, so yeah, so leave any tips or tricks or ideas that you have down below in the comments. Uh, we do appreciate and, and uh, respond to all of those. I'm sure it would be great for other people to look at more comments and ideas as well. So please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw today. And until we talk to you next time. Take care.